Welcome to Mark Reed 757. <laughs> well, let's just say uh, it's been a while as an understatement. I got quite a few things to go through, and uh, I'm going to go through them in this video. So grab a pot of coffee or whatever. <laughs> That's if you make it through the whole video. Anyway, where to start? <sighs> I guess I'll start with uh, what was the beginning, the end of the downfall? Uh, I don't know, however you want to say it vacation I put so much emphasis on vacation as you could tell on this channel that basically I consume myself with nothing but the vacation now the vacation was about I don't know 12 days or so and since the vacation I have not been back on track and obviously when I'm not back on track as you can see from previous videos before I tend to fall off the wagon granted this is a weight loss journey, not a weight loss sprint. So I've been gradually trying to get back at it, get the right mindset and all that good stuff. Been back from vacation for a while now, a little over a month, probably about a month and a half. Uh, a lot of things have happened since then. Uh, I've been uh, disc golfing quite a bit. That's been about my only exercise. I've been eating horrible, just completely horrible. I uh, haven't had my... Uh, finances in order so it's just kicking my butt however things are starting to turn around I've been uh, slowly but surely putting things into place so I can get back on track so that's where I'm at now uh, some exciting news my oldest son who's big time into disc golf went to Worlds the Junior World Championship came in eight out of 18 children in his age division so I'm pretty proud of him he uh, worked his way back up after falling to 14th in the first day all the way up the eighth the YouTube health collaboration <sighs> okay it's over but I'm gonna answer the questions anyway I did not answer these questions and I feel that it's uh, appropriate for me to answer each one of these questions and that's what I'm gonna do now week nine what is something unexpected that has happened since being on your journey? Well, <laughs> I unexpectedly quit. <laughs> I didn't expect that, that's for sure. Uh, I guess that could be one for this. Uh, yeah, I'd, I was trying to be adamant about doing the weight loss journey questions. And I quit after being on vacation. There's really no call for it. I have all the equipment here. I have everything to do it. I have the time. I just chose to be lazy. I uh, did Netflix and chill one day and it turned into two, three, four, five. I don't know. I just... No excuses. Anyway, week 10. What part of your health journey is hardest for you? Exercise, nutrition, mental health. What is easiest? Okay. I guess they it kind of goes in tandem for the hardest and easiest because once you're on the journey and you have your exercise nutrition and your mental health your mindset everything all in order then it's easy it's developing those habits that put you in those uh, the exercise mode the nutrition mode and the mental health node mode but once you're out of it it's super hard so I guess it's kind of an either, either or. So when you're out of the sink, like right now I'm currently out of sink and I'm craving all them carbs and them sugars and them starches and all the crap that I know I shouldn't eat. Well, it's super hard for me to get back on track. But I know for a fact once I am on track, it's super easy. So it's kind of like a loaded question. Which is hardest, which is easiest? They're both hard when you're not in the groove, and they're both easy once you are. Hope that makes sense. Week 11. Do you deal with any dietary restrictions? I did deal with some dietary restrictions. However, I, I don't currently have any per se. It was where I couldn't have any coffee, and lately I've been having two, three, uh, not cups, but big glasses, like 24 ounces of uh my own iced coffee where I have the creamer 
and then the instant coffee and the cold water and I've been putting ice in every now and then. Rewatch your first jailhouse <laughs> jailhouse. <laughs> I'm uh, a little bit out there. Journey to health video. Have you changed? How were you feeling then versus now? Well, I had to go way back and watch my first one. And my first one was basically just an introductory towards uh, to everybody else. And it's it's changed drastically. That was, we're creeping up on a year of these Journey to Health videos. And everybody that's in there, I might have one or two that's still in the collab group because we've changed up and kept going and I don't even know if there's going to be a part five I hope but you know currently there's nothing set in stone uh, probably lost maybe 30 pounds since then gain lost gain lost it's been a roller coaster ever since I started these particular videos but I am ready to get back on it and I still have that hundred the other hundred pounds to lose so we'll see what's going on future plans well my future plans are to get back into being healthy and I do have some exciting news I have a new uh, new or old I should say job opportunity I was uh, where I was working it catered Monday through Friday but it just couldn't make enough money to really do a lot with my kids and do a lot in general so I'll definitely have a pay raise and hopefully things are looking up granted that could impact the healthy lifestyle as well you know just because you make more money and you're putting more hours in uh, it takes a toll on your mental mindset and your health and everything in general Anyway, stay tuned, see what happens, and I'll do my best to get some more videos up.